Welcome, welcome. This is the LZ Show, episode 112. Calling this one checkup. Today is March 12th, 2018. Temperature outside is 41 degrees cloudy. And there's a winter weather advisory. It is going to be uh, probably snowing. So, um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Um, I appreciate the, 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 the new fans coming on and new likes. Um, uh, this wouldn't be anything without you. But moving right along. I just heard on the news that um, Amazon bought a startup company uh, which partly pertains to Nas, Nasir Jones, the rapper, um, for $1.2 billion. Now, he's just like a, one of the owners or company founders or whatever. Um, there's, there has to be more um, investigation into this. Uh, how much exactly he won? Um, he did not get the 1.2 billion. You know, it probably got separated into, I mean, divided into a, a couple of different people. But if he gets over a hundred million, you know, it's still pretty good. You know, um, yeah, it's 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 um. Um, how should I say this? It's it's satisfying, I guess, to see um, people that we grew up uh, listening to um, becoming, you know, these big billionaires, now billionaires, you know. And that's always good to hear. Um, you know, it's not just uh, Dr. Dre. Now it's, uh, I mean, like I said, I don't know if he's not a billionaire exactly, but, you know, he's making moves. It's a good look, you know. Um, <clears throat> besides that, there's a lot of things that's been happening. I've been busy, you know, working out and, um, you know, just working, doing my thing. Um, I try to post as much as I can. Um, and now my phone is ringing. But stay focused. So, yeah, I've been I've been a little busy um, with things, but yeah, uh, you know, uh, things is things is uh, kind of hectic uh, as as usual. Um, we're gonna um, we're gonna hope for the best and work towards a better goal. Um, I want the young generation and the older generation. To find a balance and mold and manifest the outcome we all collectively would like to see. And hopefully it is a positive outlook and not one where there's still um, a lot of corruption and violence and death as you can see happening. Um, you know, uh, the, the gun laws, uh, per, for me personally, man, I, I, I don't own a gun, but I would like the right to own and, uh, you know, have bare arms if, uh, if I choose to have, you know, if I, if I need it or whatever, I, I don't want it to be, you know, it, it, fine. You make it to, you know, 21 doesn't matter. You know, I don't have to worry about that, but. I'm for, you know, the Second Amendment, you know? <laughs> you can't, otherwise, what? We're just going to allow people to just run over us, you know? A few rotten apples, a few rotten apples shouldn't um, spoil it for the rest of the tree. You know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah, this is a whole movement by teens. Um... Everybody has their phase, you know, they, they just have to keep doing dumb until they finally realize whatever it is that they're trying to achieve. 
Um, hey, by the way, um, I put out on a mixtape uh, not too long ago. Call it the LZ Mixtape Part 2. You should check it out. Um, you know, I, I, I go into um, just a different variety of thoughts and very high, deep thinking. Um, yeah. So, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, check my, it's on SoundCloud, YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm getting, um, I'm getting faster, um, more fit, more energized. Um, I suggest you do that too. Um, it's not a question of, uh, how or whatever. It's a question of when, and it's going to get there. What exactly am I talking about? Um, well, it's something that I, if I, you wouldn't understand, but, um, I'm not the type of person, um, who gives up on things. So, you know, things, things is, uh. It's gonna happen, you know. A lot of consist with consistency and persistence, um, and if you live long enough, <laughs> everything you want you can achieve, you know. So, um, what can I tell you? I'm not a person of of, of um, much words. I try not to say a lot of words. I don't know. Maybe you know this. Um, I guess for the new followers, um, but um, I think words are very important. So, you know, um, be on the lookout for the winter storm that's going to happen. And thanks for tuning in, you know. Um, what can I tell you? Huh? Tell me. What can I tell you? What can I talk about? I like to keep my life pretty private. Um, I'll probably be posting a video of me working out again. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look for the time for that. Um, like I said, I've been doing a couple of things. Still working on the album, but don't worry, that's gonna get done. It's just, like I said, um, I think maybe I'm a perfectionist, you know, to a degree, um, nobody's perfect, but I, I try to seek, you know, to try to be, you know, um, so yeah, man. And you know, hit, hit my website. Like I said, uh, follow, follow, um, things I do. Check my Instagram. I try not to post every day. Cause like, damn, you know, like I, I have a lot of things, like I said, but, um, that I be doing, but, um, just be, uh, be on top of it, man. You know, if you subscribe, you know, anytime something will happen, it'll, uh, or I post something, it'll, it'll show up to your page, like a notification. So, um, yeah, that's why you should subscribe. Cause I'm not going to be doing this every day, you know, um, at least for right now. Um, yeah, I need more views. So, Hope that make that make that possible. Um, and let's go get it. You know. Um, I want to talk about something, but I don't know what. <laughs> um, what do y'all think about this art that I just put up? It's pretty nice, right? You know, it's like it shows like some fractals and patterns and geometric shapes. I'm going to show you some other ones. This is just one. I got a bunch of, uh, of these nice art, artistical expressions. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's, it's beautiful, man. You know? Um, so yeah, man, you know. Look how it goes. It's like a bubble shape. 
of a cross. But if you look within the circles, it, it looks like a face if you really look into it. Yep. So yeah, I just been busy, you know, I'm, you know, paying bills, working, getting out of um paying a few bills and stuff, you know, um working out hard and um just staying active. Trying to I'm trying to like hope, waiting for this uh cold weather to leave so that I could get more active. But uh every day I got this app. I don't know if I said before, but I I say it. I got this new app where um, it measures your steps and shows you how many calories you burned or how many miles you walked just on, you know, the, the amount of steps you do every day. And there's a lot of uh, different names for it, uh, depending on your phone. You just got to put like um, step counter or something like that and, and a bunch of apps will show up and you and you download the best one on your phone. But anyway, I got this, right, this app that measures all my steps. And I started I started off doing over 10,000 steps. Um, just normally average, you know, what I walk normally. And that was not enough, you know. So, I don't know. Now, lately, I've been kind of busy. And now I'm doing over 30,000 steps. Not by my choice, you know. It's just I can't help it. I have to do it. Um, some days it's like 25, 20, I, definitely over a thousand, you know, calories that I burn. Um, and then, and then I, and then I, that's just, you know, a warm up. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a good app. I, I recommend you, 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 um, do that if you want to follow your steps and do that, you know, averagely. Yeah. But averagely I'm doing like. 25 to 30,000 steps and that is you know something that is really something right um like I said I'm not your average kind of person um who does a few steps I have I'm like, I'm very active like I'm not the type to sit down and just do nothing you know uh despite the fact that I use a computer to to you know make my sound go through for you to listen. Sometimes I use this and I'm walking around as I speak. <laughs> I'm not sitting down, you know. Sometimes I'm walking around, you know. Um, but yeah, there's a uh, if you watch the news, it's been a couple of things happening i'm just not trying to make everything gloomy you know um i think i think we have to work on ourselves you know focus on ourselves people have to be more positive and um get rid of the toxic uh people stop thinking negative like if you wake up right and the first things that come out of your mouth are something of a complaint leading to an argument or something, you know, just something of a complaint. Um, you need to check yourself. You need to meditate because if you meditate, you'll start and, and, and if you meditate and practice being silent for a pretty long time, you'll start to analyze the thoughts that um surrounds your brain you start to analyze and um observe the many thoughts that comes in your head and um this does wonders if if you um if you practice a lot because um then you'll be more careful uh as to to, you'll, you'll watch the thinker in you. You'll be watching the thinker instead of, uh, you know, just thinking without, without, um, without observing it, you know? So, 
what that does is you'll 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 be more in the now. You'll focus. You'll be more in the moment. And um, this is the wonders, man. I'm telling you. And also, uh, practice stretching. Um, in the morning, you know, a couple of stretching. You know, touch your toes without bending your knees. You know, um, just stretch, man. Stretch is is really good. If you can't touch your toes uh, without bending your knees, uh, you really got a problem. You know, um, I remember I couldn't I couldn't do a couple of things. Now I'm a little more flexible, but I'm still tight. You know, I I, I work out. I'm still very very uh, rigid, but um, my my goal is to be a little more flexible because. It alleviates a lot of pain, you know, and we're, we're, we're overall, we're trying to be healthy people, you know, we're, we're trying to make smart decisions. Um, I told somebody that I was going to be rich in a few years and that's, that's something that I, I know I'm going to accomplish, you know. It's just a matter of time, you know. But I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna be rich, you know. You just put you just put it in your mind and you achieve it. Some people have, you know, some people are lucky and, and get there quicker. Whatever, I'm I'm gonna get there. Don't rush me. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get there regardless. You know what I mean? Just everybody has their um their way, you know, and. My way is maybe a little slower. <laughs> I know there's a lot of young kids nowadays um, getting quicker, but whatever, man. When I get there, it's gonna be a, a I'm gonna make a big dent, you know. So, you know, this is uh, me just 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 just, just chattering, man, <laughs> about nothing. <laughs> Uh, nah, it really is something, you know. I hope I can entertain you with the words that I'm saying enough to keep you uh, at ease and peaceful. And if I can make you smile, then huh, then um, then I've accomplished a lot, didn't I? Um, yeah. Hope hopefully I make you smile or, or brighten up your day instead of you know cause. Anger. I mean, why? Why would you get angry at, at listening to me, right? There shouldn't be no reason for you to feel hate or be negative or be complaining or you know frustrated. Here you are listening to a very passionate artist who's doing things that others have never done. Um, very unique and inspirational. Um, in fact. Um, so, if anything, um, you should be learning, taking notes, even at the silliness of of what uh, a silliness of what I do, because um, it is all brand new, and like I said, nobody's done it before. Um, most of the things that I do, I, probably everything. I mean, everything that I do is pretty unique, you know. Uh, like I said, it, some of it just comes out natural, um, but it came with a lot of practice. Um, I'm not gonna say I just, you know, I just grew up very different, you know. I grew up very different, you know. Maybe in a, a different session when I get a uh, interview or whatever, we could delve into that. Or when I write a movie about my life, you can see the ins and out of the of the person or 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 the person behind the the internet of things I don't know um so um yeah um I would say this you know since I'm kind of a voice to be reckoned with and um, people listen. Um, I will say this. Um, 
we need it we need it we need to work wake up and start going after bigger things we need to um dream bigger challenge ourselves and um not think about the things that we can't help in other words don't stress over the things you can't control. Focus your energy on the things that'll get you towards your dream. You listening? You hear me? Hopefully you're listening and you're hearing. So, yeah, don't, don't stress on the things you can't control. I learned that. A long time ago, unfortunately for me, I had to, I had to learn through through a lot of trials and tribulations, and <laughs> and a lot of pain. But um, if you can maybe like learn from other people's mistakes, well then you you've um you you've have a learning curve. Hopefully, you don't have to. Go through the pain to experience, or I mean, to to learn basically what I've been saying. Um, I mean, if I tell you, "Hey, put your hands on on fire," you're gonna get burned. Um, trust me, I know, cause I got burned. Look at my skin, and it's and it's you know, skin melted. Uh, hopefully you take that advice and and, and don't touch the fire <laughs> just to see if I was not lying, you know, if I was telling the truth. <laughs> just go by my words, you know. Um, this, this mind, anyway, is all scientific. I mean, the equations and mathematical uh, verbiage that comes out of my brain is all somehow attached to some type of algorithms <laughs> and um, scientific patterns and um, that all checks out to be very, very exquisite. So, um, yeah, don't stress over the things you can't control. Just focus on the, on the things that'll help you achieve um, towards your, your dreams. I prolonged this, this conversation on purpose because I also have to perfect my communication skills, which many say that my communication skills it's, is above average. And I appreciate that, but still... Um, I feel that I can do a lot better, especially if I'm handed the materials and things. Oh man, there's a couple of things I'm about to, sh I, I'm, a, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut cause I don't want to speak too soon. You know, I'm one of those people that I like to do it before I speak about it. So I don't want to spoil the beans, so to say, but, um, there's a lot of things that's going to happen and hopefully um, I could be somewhat of a, a coach or something, you know, maybe you could learn a few things from, from me and, and vice versa, you know? Yeah. Anyway, I spoke long enough. I think this is probably over, you know, 24 minutes. Wow. I usually do like five minutes and stuff. Um... So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, wait for the next show. I don't know when I'm going to post it, but uh, just tune in. Like I said, subscribe, follow. Um, send me nice little comments like, you're great. <laughs> I like you, man, or uh, whatever, you know, something positive. Uh, maybe you'll say, maybe you could say, uh, hey, you made me smile today. Females, ladies, um, guys, uh, no, no funny stuff, you know, just.
positive vibes, you know. Um, we are all um, biological errors in the search of perfection. Um, another thing I will say is what I, I was saying to somebody I was speaking to the other day. I said to him, you have to learn, the, you have to learn to love the things you hate. Now, of course, I don't, you know, it's, it's a different way you might take it, but the way that I was saying it is on a higher level or like a higher plane of things by saying, uh, you have to learn to love the things you hate is let's say you have a, let's say you have a goal or, or a dream and maybe you, maybe it is maybe it's to lose weight or maybe it's to work out or maybe it's to be a better be a whatever better person whatever it is these things require uh daily routines or activities or habits that you otherwise wouldn't normally do because it requires uh dedication strength discipline um so so you you don't do it. You put it off. You get lazy. You get you procrastinate. You say, "Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it another day." And so it becomes things you kind of dislike doing. Like for workout people, they hate doing legs. They do it, but they don't like doing legs. You know what I mean? They'll do chest. They'll do arms, shoulders, back. <laughs> but they don't like doing legs. You know, because it's the hardest. You know, you gotta. You got to go down and not, nah, you got, you got to squat, you know, carrying a bunch of weights, you know, and it, it's just painful, but you have to learn to love the things you hate because it is only in loving the things you hate that will make you great. Hear me now. Anyway, that's the quote of the day. Learn to love the things you hate. And I'm not talking about um, your enemy. Although, <laughs> you could be a little more positive or just ignore. But that's not the kind of, that's not the kind of love, hate thing I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, the little task you always put aside, you know, love to learn that, love to learn the things you hate. Like maybe you don't want to eat so much, but yet you eat, you love it, but you hate it because you can't control your symptoms. So, <laughs> learn to love the things you hate, you know? Uh, that, that came out wrong. I, I don't mean to like go and eat, you know, I mean to like, don't eat, you know, like if, if, if it requires you to, uh, like what I'm saying is if you don't eat, you're not going to like it. So you know what I mean? Anyway, learn to love the things you hate. That's enough. That's enough, uh, of the LZ show. Thanks for tuning in.